To fully understand what LSA Family Health Service does for the families of East Harlem today, one must first look at its history. In 1891, a small group of little sisters came from Paris to New York City. The community in New York eventually branched out to Philadelphia, Boston, and Kentucky, always with the same mission, to care for the sick and poor in their own homes. By the late 1950s, the Little Sisters in New York City were working primarily as registered nurses and social workers out of their house at 81st Street and Lexington Avenue. The sisters were increasingly in demand. Over the years, they had established a reputation for competent, persistent work with complex families, going where more traditional programs were often reluctant to go. Hospital social workers, especially at Mount Sinai Hospital, referred their most difficult patients to them, confident that the sisters would find ways to address intractable problems, working creatively with other organizations as necessary. In 1958, the sisters decided to concentrate their presence in East Harlem because they were being asked to work with so many families there. The original group, four nurses and a social worker, rented a brownstone opposite the New York City Department of Health on East 115th Street. Eventually, a small brownstone east of First Avenue on 115th Street became both their home and the fledgling agency. In the 1960s, with the War on Poverty declared with full force, two major developments helped in the growth of Little Sisters. First, the creation of Medicaid and Medicare meant that health care would now be affordable for many families whom they served. And second, grassroots community organizing emerged as a powerful new force. The Little Sisters became part of many new community-based alliances, and some of these relationships remain strong to this day. By 1970, the Little Sisters of the Assumption Family Health Service was incorporated as a tax-exempt organization in New York State and was governed by an independent board of directors, most of whom were professionals who were impressed by the sisters' dedication and who wanted to support their very special mission. Today, LSA Family Health Service has evolved to become one of the most effective poverty-fighting organizations in New York City. In spring 2004, after a remarkably successful capital campaign raised over $7 million from foundations and individuals, LSA moved from five separate cramped rented sites into a brand new state-of-the-art facility. Currently, LSA employs 58 full-time and 10 part-time staff and is assisted by five full-time and 30 part-time volunteers. The dedication and long-term commitment of our personnel is exceptional. Program directors average 10 years' experience at LSA, and some staff have served for over 20 years. LSA's model interdisciplinary approach combines the services of nurses, social workers, educators, child development specialists, and lay advocates. Our roots in the neighborhood and commitment to building a larger community in partnership with families enable us to observe new trends and respond flexibly to a changing environment. Consistent with our mission, no family or individual is ever turned away because their care is not reimbursable or because they cannot pay. In 2005, our Food Pantry Advocacy Program responded to over 4,500 requests for food and provided over 40,000 meals for families. Priority is given to families with small children and to pregnant women. This program is often the open door through which the program team is able to introduce our clients to other LSA programs. With the licensing of our second classroom in 2005, the toddler nursery is now able to annually enroll 80 children between 15 months and three years. The bright open space, complete with new play 